Hello and welcome to this short video on how to set up your tenant for Power Automate. Please note that before you continue, you must have a personal email address that you can use with the sign up process. If you do not have one, you can sign up for one at Outlook.com or Live.com. Please do that before proceeding with the further steps. Please note that your tenant will expire after 30 days, so don't put anything important on there that you're afraid to lose. Also, any links that are required later on in this video will be posted in the comments section down below, so check those out. If you are having trouble keeping up with this video, just remember to pause so you can catch up. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have your email and you're good to go, let's dig in. The first step that we're going to do is using either Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. We're going to create a new profile the reason we are going to do this is it's going to separate all of your existing logins, passwords and bookmarks, giving you a fresh space to work on. To do this, go to the top right hand corner and click on your profile. Then add profile and add. When you do that, you may be prompted to sign in to synchronize your data. In this case, we're just going to continue without signing in. Now that we've done that, please paste the first link into the address bar. This will take you to the Office 365 E3 page. We're going to go on the right hand side and click on Free Trial. Enter your email address and click Next. You may be prompted that you need to create a new account just set up an account. Enter in your information. Make sure you send a valid phone number as this later on will be used for authentication purposes. For your company size Anything will do really, as we are just making up information here. Make sure your country is correct and then select Next. Now send yourself a verification code using your actual phone number. You will receive a text message on your device from Microsoft within about a minute. Enter that code in, which is just a one-time code. Please note, this code will not be the same for everybody, so just enter the one that gets sent to your device. Then click Verify. On step 3, set yourself a username and a domain name. You can make these things up, and as well as a password. Sometimes these passwords can have requirements, so just set it up, and if it's not correct, just think of one that is within the requirements of Microsoft, as it may get rejected. Once you're good to go, just click Next. This may take a few moments, so just be patient with this step. If prompted to save your password, just click the X, unless you actually want to. Once it says thanks for setting up your Office 365 E3, note down your username and remember your password as you'll need this at a later point. Then click Get Started. When you're presented with this page to install Office, navigate to the bottom right hand corner and click on Exit Setup. The reason that we choose here will be Other, then click on Save and Exit. Now we're going to paste the link below Power Automate Attended into the browser. When the page loads, on the right hand side click on Start Free Trial and Try Now. Click on Continue. Assign the attended license to your user. 
go to active users below users, click on your user, click on licenses and tick power automate per user plan with attended and save changes. Then navigate back to home. Now on to the next step. Paste the second link into your address bar. This will bring you to your environment section. Click on your environment and you'll see in the middle here it says add database. We're going to just add database and then click add. It may take a few moments for this to occur. As you can see, the state says preparing instance and at the top as well, it says new environment. Your environment name is getting prepared. This can take a few minutes. Once that's completed, your state should say ready and it should say at the top new environment. Your environment name has been successfully created. We are now completed with this stage. Finally, in your address bar, paste the third link below this video. We're going to click on buy now and with the per user plan with attended RPA below by now we're going to click try free. At the sign up page we're going to enter the email address that we created with our tenant and then we're going to click on start free. Give it a few moments to get going. When you see let's get you started click on continue. Select your country and click Get Started. Finally, after the third stage is completed, click one more time on Get Started. Select your country and one more time click on Get Started. Now that we have done all that, we need to install some software. The required software will be in a zip file below this video. Please download that zip file. It is important to note that sometimes your IT department may not allow you to install this software on your work computer. So either consider asking them to do it or install this software on your personal computer at home. Alternatively, if you have trouble, we can set you up with a virtual machine for a small fee. You can also set up your own virtual machine, however, that is beyond the scope of this course. For assistance in setting up a virtual machine or to inquire about being provided a virtual machine for a small fee, lodge a ticket through the support chatbot and we will assist you very shortly. Now let's walk through the steps. Download the zip file that is in the comments section below this video. This zip file is called Required Software. Right click it and say Extract All and then click Extract. After a moment, your folder should open. Once done so, you will see two setup files, Contoso Invoicing and Power Automate. First, let's install Contoso Invoicing. Double click the setup file and just follow the prompts. Click Next, Next, and Next. This will now install. It may take longer than this on your machine. Then click Close. Next, we're going to install Power Automate. Double click the setup file. Click Next. Click on the box that says by selecting Install, you agree to the Microsoft's terms of use and click Install. This will take a moment. Once that is finished, you can click on Close. You should now see the Contoso Invoicing and Power Automate icons on your desktop. Double click Contoso Invoicing to make sure that it works. Once confirmed, click Close. Next, we have to register our local machine on Power Automate. To do this, open Power Automate. You'll be prompted to sign in. Click on Sign In and select the email address with the tenant that you created, then click Sign In. 
another box may pop up at this stage. Enter your password. And once more, sign in. When you're offered a tour, click skip and click don't show me again and got it. We are now going to set up our machine locally. To do so, click on settings and then click on open machine settings at the bottom. You can edit the details by clicking on edit details and give your machine a name. In this case, you could make it your tenant name or something that you would like. In this example, we'll use demo2 and click save. Then we click on the close button and click on the close button again. And it's really that simple. That's all there is. You are now ready to start the course. Have a good one.